Now, this is the, the fly I'm going to be tying. Uh, it is a dry fly, though it looks kind of wet like, but it's a very good dry fly. Now, basically, uh, in the video before, I tied the blue bottle, uh, wet fly. This is a green bottle version. Uh, it's a dry fly. It's very similar to the Clydesdale fly, uh, a sand, what they call a sand fly, which is a grey body, but if you tie either a blue or a green light body like this, it, it's a great pattern. Both in Loch's hand uh, in the river, so it's certainly worth having in your box. So I'm going to give it a go. Tie it up. Hook I'm using is the Fulham Mill. This is the size 14 all-purpose medium. Thread I'm going to be using is the Uni Thread AO in black. Just pull off a length, get a wee wax. Now I'm going to start it to short of the eye, just going to work my way down. Maybe half a dozen turns or so. Now on the blue bottle and the wet, I used this one, the copper blue, but on this, the green version, I'm going to use the, the modern pencils that you can buy. The peacock in orange, as you can see it's got the peacock colour. And you can see this is number 14 as well, it's the same size as I used in the wet fly. So I take a length out. Now the orange body, the opposite side is really good on this fly too, so certainly worth having. Got a wee curl in it, so what I'm doing is just taking the curl out of my nail, going against it. Now I prefer to tie this on the way down, it ties in much easier. Now give yourself a good 3 mil to tie in, we've got two hackles and some peacock hair at the head, so give yourself a lot of room. So we tie this down until the point of the hook, come back up, I say stop about say there, so we want to give yourself room for a couple of hackles and hero, so just to protect it again, just a wee touch of super glue, just a wee touch, not much, just makes it last a wee bit longer. And we want to touch in turns with the tinsel, just wind up. Tie it off, two or three turns, take it away. Now, what I've got here is some partridge feathers. I'm looking for a small grey, sorry, looking for the grey partridge feather. You only need a couple of turns, you don't need much. So I'm taking away the fluff at the bottom. Now in the sandfly, you could, uh, there's a couple of ways of tying it, but the sandfly has a grey mole fur body, that's the difference. Uh, black hackle we usually go, as far as I remember, it goes on first and then the grey in front, but this goes the opposite way. So what I've done is revealed the tip of the feather, trimmed it so I've got enough to, to tie in. Make sure you've got wax on your thread. But you're only looking for a couple of turns. This gives impression both legs and wing, more wing than legs, to be honest with you. So it just it works really well. It sets the fly really high. As I say, you only need a couple of turns. Just make a space for your thread to come through. I usually get a 90 degree bend into the, the fibre. Make sure it's tied down, trim away. Any going forward, just stroke it back. Nice piece of thread down there. It's very leggy like, but this is what you want. It's a terrestrial fly, this. You don't want it to be a perfect specimen sitting on top of the water. And now we've got a dyed black cork cackle. Just remove the fluff at the base. And then trim enough so you can tie it in. Again, let me touch your wax. Get your thread right up against, up to the grey partridge, and then the pliers. And don't be shy with the hackle. I like a, you can always take fibre off, you can't add it on, so if it's slightly an extra half turn or not do the fly any harm. That's fine. 
make sure it's secure, trim away the waste, make sure your thread's out of the way. Any fibre going forward, just draw it back. I'm putting a base of thread down there, a wax thread, so there's plenty of grip. Now it's optional where you do a, a grizzle like head. It's up to yourself. Oh, sorry, a peacock kettle. Now I've got dyed black peacock kettle. You could use the normal, uh, just the sort of natural if you want. So we've got two lengths. Catch it in, pull it into the tips, make sure it's secure. Now what I do is, first thing is to wax the thread, the down ones. Put the peacock herald, the two strands right beside the thread. Just watch that fibre. Now basically what I do is I loosen off with the thread, I don't keep it the thread tight and then twist. If you do that, it will not break. It's much easier, it's much better to do that. Now you're looking round about three turns for the head. It may draw back the fibre, don't worry. And then unravel the peacock kettle. Just wind, take it round. You'll get there. And basically what happens when that happens, your thread drops, so bring it back up and then when I catch this in, I do a turn, two, there's two turns there, I need to fold it back. As you may see there, there's some peacock hair on the thread, take it away out of the way, take it, because when you go to what finish, that'll get in the way. So, it just happens when you twist the, the hair around the thread, you'll get that. Tighten up. Trim away your thread. Trim away the peacock. And you can see it's a bit flat and wet, fly like, but once you bring it back out and you cast it, the fly will start to get its shape. You can see there. And there we are. And that's basically a dry version of the, well, it's a green bottle rather than a blue bottle. So it's a really light version that and it works a treat. Uh, as I say, it works both on the river and on locks. It's a great colour combination which you can't go wrong. Put a varnish in there, finishes it off. And there we are. So basically, there's the two. That's your wet version. Uh, there's a blue bottle version. That's a green bottle version. Nice pattern. Now, when, you've, when you're fishing this, basically, what will happen is the, the fibres will spread out and spread the weight of the, the fly and uh, it sits really nice and uh, the fish do like these uh, obviously with the wet version you want it to sink uh, you can fish them as in together so you could, you could fish either the point usually I'll put this in the point this in the dropper uh, so we could see it but it could go either way it's entirely up to yourself really good with midge coming off as well but anyway I hope you enjoyed that, and that's uh, basically the, a variant of the green bottle. Uh, it's a variant of a couple of flies to put together uh, that I know works, so I hope you enjoyed that. <laughs>